Hello group, Jeff here. Today I'm going to uh, try to show how you would uh, connect Stellarium to your mount through CPWI, which happens to be the Celestron software to control mounts. Uh, if you have other mount manufacturers, they should have something similar to CPWI. Uh, so this should carry over. And uh, I have my CGXL and my C14 and we are currently connected USB so let's get going I will also show you how you can uh, with CPWI connected you can also use the hand controller to do some fine pointing when you're uh, at the mount you don't want to bring your computer over you can use the hand controller to do some uh, some fine uh, movement in conjunction with CPWI. So the first thing I want to show you is the version of ASCOM that we need on your machine. And this happens to be the most current 6503991. Make sure that's on your machine. So now we'll load up the CPWI software. I want to connect to it. I want to do a quick align. Now we're finding the home position through CPWI. And if we go up here, you can see that okay, it's found it. So CPWI has uh, come a long ways, has come a long ways. And uh, you can uh, configure your backlash, you can configure your slew limits, you can configure your auto guide rates, you have side reel, solar and lunar rates, you can have RA and D and deck tracking. Uh, you can set your custom right here so that when the mount first uh, when the software first, first boots up it will be in this so if I open up my slew controls you'll see that uh, it's set for four oops I said home sorry wrong one slew controls you'll see it's at four which is what I have mine set at the other thing I like is the slew controls are bigger than the ASCOM slew controls. Uh, when you get old eyes like I got, you got to have all the help you can can get. So if I open up uh, Mellencamp Sky, you'll see that it's always on top. So what we want to do is I'll close this. I'll shrink this down. We'll now go to uh, Stellarium. And you'll see in Stellarium, I have, thanks to Bob, hi Mesa Bob, I have uh, done a panel of my restrictions. <laughs> and you can see I've got some big restrictions. And when, I, when I'm shooting the planets, they are just above these trees. So if I open up the clock and we go up a little bit, you can see that they are just above these trees, just above them. And my, my roof line is right here. So not only do I get, I'm just clearing the trees, but I'm getting a lot of heat off of the roof. So I have to wait till, to get my best shots are usually right in this little hole here. So if I go back, you'll see there's a little hole. And the planets are kind of going like this into this little hole. <laughs> so that's my best viewing of the planets. Enough of my problems. Let's go back. And in Stellarium, you want to go to the configuration window, plugins, and make sure that the telescope control is always loaded at startup. 
If it isn't, you'll have to check it and then restart Stellarium so that this will work. I'm going to delete this one so that you can see how I, I actually make one. So we want to add a new telescope. We do not want this, 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 this. We want ASCOM. I'm going to name it CGX-LCP, whoops, PWI. And I'm going to go down to the ASCOM chooser. And in the ASCOM chooser, I do not want the Celestron telescope control. You can use that if you aren't using uh, CPWI. The downside to that is that uh, you can only connect one app, and there are no SLU controls, unless you can open up an ASCOM SLU control uh, to help you out. So you select the CPWI, there are new properties, and you say OK. Now I want to connect to it, and you'll see that the The telescope is now centered on home. So let's go up to here. I'm going to click on the telescope control. I'm going to select the current object and I'm going to slew to it. And you can see on the screen the telescope is moving and on the video of the telescope you can see that it's slewing to the target. So we're almost there. And bang, we are there. So now that you have the telescope, uh, or you have Stellarium connected to the telescope and it's slewing, what you can use is this astronomical calculator window and go to what WUT, which is, stands for what's up tonight. And I don't know what's up tonight. Let's see. Well, the eagle is going to be too low right now. Pleiades, that's going to be too far in the west. Gleaming star, and then these are all just coming up. Let's go to active galaxies. No. Where the heck are they? Oh, there they are. So M33 for me is below ground. Whirlpool might be something. Yeah, let's go to the Whirlpool. So I double clicked on the Whirlpool. And you can tell because I have the, uh, oops. There's the whirlpool. And let's set this up again. Our sensor is uh, DS26. That's the newt. Let's go to F11 for the 14. And you can see that's kind of about where she She's uh, lined up, so uh, I'll select current object and slew. And you'll see that the scope is moving down here. Bingo. So let's just go to this star, and let's just say that I'm doing my initial polar alignment through uh, CPWI. I'll just select this star, I'll slew to it, and the thing I want to show you is it's not in the field of view of the camera because it, uh, I have to set up out on the driveway. If I miss my marks a little bit, I could miss the target on the chip. 
So now I can use my uh, finder scope and you can see that I can use the arrow pad at the mount to find my target. I don't need to have the computer. And this only works if you're connected to uh, a newer Celestron mount with the PC port. If you're not connected through the PC port and you're connected through the USB port on the hand controller, you're done. You, you can't use the, the hand controller to do this. You have to use the PC port. So I hope that you too, Greg and Derek, saw enough to get brave enough to set your Stellarium up so that you can control your mounts. If you have any problems, you know where I live. Thanks for watching. See you in the group.